Welcome back to the channel. This is Anka Engineering and I'm Herman Wigman. And today we're going to talk about a replacement clutch pack for a Jaguar E-Diff which fits most of the V8 models. And also I have an extra story on a failure mode in a V6S LSD. Let's get into it. In a previous video, I did a teardown and a failure analysis on the Jaguar E-Diff. I extracted the clutch pack and sent it off to racing diffs and they responded with a product. The OEM had a 10 disc stack up of about 26 millimeters, while the racing, dicks, uh, racing diffs has an eight disc stack up of about 27 to 28 millimeters. When I looked at the ceramic molly coated uh, discs from racing diffs, I did notice that there were some excess uh, peaks and burrs on the discs. So I thought I would take those down with a piece of sandpaper. I used 220 grit dry sandpaper and just rubbed the discs on uh, the sandpaper, both one face and then the other face. I started to notice that some of the discs did have a little bit of concave or a convex side. And so I decided to sand them all down. And then during the stack up, I would put all the concave sides together and so that they would fit. And that took down some of the extra stack up, about half a millimeter to a millimeter. The reassembly process is pretty straightforward. Uh, the first disc is the special stationary disc with extra thickness, and that's the one that acts on the pistons that the E-diff activate. Then, after that, you start throwing in a friction disc and a stationary disc and so on and so forth until the stack up is complete. Now, I did this uh, wet or with some 75W140 synthetic GL5 uh, oil, and it does have friction modifiers in it. And um, so I'm soaking each of the discs with that oil uh, before throwing it in the stack up. In this particular stack up, I think I did convex side up. So all the discs uh, were then uh, mated uh, convex side up, or I called it umbrella up. The final assembly of the differential carrier does require that the spacer rings get reinserted. And they don't fit over the top of the sun gear with splines, so uh, instead I put the spacer rings on top of the clutch pack and then inserted the sun gear with splines down into the clutch pack. And here you see me cleaning them off. These spacer rings do not see any uh, friction or rotation. They're stuck between stationary discs, so they're just there for spacers. I did oil one. Um, which is probably not necessary, uh, but it does aid in assembly because the oil does then prevent the spacer rings from moving around. So you'll see that the top hat with clutch discs is on the left, and on the right we have the lower portion of the diff with the carrier and sun gears. And so final assembly is fairly straightforward. You just flip the lower unit onto the top hat, and there are three retaining screws that need to go in. I have another little surprise and some updates from a different transaxle or a different rear differential. 
This coming from a F-type S model, so the V6S with limited slip diff, and it was making loads of noise. So the customer decided to transition over to a Quaife automatic torque biasing unit, and very happy with that unit. It's fantastic, flawless, and he's been enjoying it. But I got the uh, old LSD back in return, and it was making loads of noise, and I thought for sure it was going to be the, uh, the friction disks with all of the carbon fiber falling off and gumming up the works. But that wasn't the case. Turns out all four of the carbon fiber discs were intact. I've never seen that before. <laughs> so this is a first for me. Uh, instead, what was causing all the noise it was the bearings. And the bearings are pretty loose and we can start to feel that they're getting gritty. Uh, so clearly it was far too much uh, preload on these axle bearings. And so the case uh, of the differential was assembled too tight. And so that's what caused the premature failure. I'll just uh, rattle this one for you. I think that's a, yeah, there's a lot of play in this one. And you can feel and see the, the bearings are worn. All right, so that's a new data point. Over compression or too much preload causes bearing failure. And that concludes today's video on the V8 rear differential or E-diff clutch pack replacement, as well as the V6 S model LSD failure mode due to uh, over compression of the bearings. I hope you enjoyed this content and appreciate Anka Engineering commissioning replacement parts for your Jaguar cars. Leave me some feedback and comments. I'll try to get back to you as best I can. Oh, the summer equinox, no, the fall equinox is coming up. And that means another autocross with the Jaguar Club of uh, New England, Jane, Jaguar Association of New England, back in Weymouth, Massachusetts. So I'll compete there again and see if I can improve my times once again. And remember, my friends, drive well.